Okay, hi boys and girls. Today we are going to be doing a project building a castle, or we're going to be drawing a castle. I hope that you got a chance to watch the Paul Clay video, and we are going to be doing an artwork something like his. He had a painting called Castle and Sun that you can see if you go onto my Instagram account, Mrs. Stewart's Art Class, you will see that picture. So for the lesson today, you're going to need some cardboard. It can be any thin cardboard, maybe a cereal box, some scissors, a pencil, crepas or crayon, and watercolour paint, which we'll use later. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to be making some shapes or building blocks that you'll be using to build your castle. So you can just cut some rectangles, some squares, maybe even triangles. Don't make them too small because you're going to be drawing around them. I'm going to make one bigger rectangle. Okay, so now I have some shapes. I have a few more here. You could even make a circle you might want to use. You could draw around something to make your circle. So now I'm using these to build my castle. Just like you would use building blocks, you will be using these blocks that you cut out. So I'm going to put them down. I'm using them as a stencil to draw around. And I'm going to build my castle up. I'm going to keep changing my blocks. Maybe I can make one go across. You can make your building go as high as you like, but do leave some space for the sky. Okay, now I've got my castle mostly built. Oh, I need to put that one there. I'm maybe gonna break some of the bigger blocks down into smaller ones. I'm gonna use this like a little ruler to just make them a little smaller. Maybe I can even make a diagonal line to make two triangles. Or four triangles and then I'm going to add sun or moon let me see maybe I like it in the corner right there okay so now you have your castle built you are going to be using your crepa or your crayons to color them when you color them you want each square or triangle or rectangle to be a different color and try not to put color same colors next to each other the other thing you're going to do you're going to outline your shape first in the color you've chosen outline and then color for this project you don't need to color too hard because we are going to be painting right on top so i'm actually pressing lightly with my crepa this time or if you're using crayon. So outline my shape first with the color I've chosen and then lightly, very lightly color. You want to see some white this time. Sometimes we say press hard, we don't want to see any, but this time I do want to see some white. So you would continue to outline all your shapes and color them. Until you have something like this and you have colored them all. Now you're going to be painting with your watercolor. You're going to choose one color to paint everything. So I'm going to be painting all of the space 
all of the sky and I'm going to paint right on top and you're going to see how that works in just a second. I'm going to choose a dark blue but you can choose any color you want for the background. So I want it to be quite watery so I'm dipping my brush in a few times and then I'm just going to horizontal strokes right across my page and I'm actually going right on top of the shapes. Maybe I'll do the space first. And then you'll see how I'm going to paint. You can see where I'm painting on top. It's going into the white areas, but it's not colouring over my oil pastel. You can even take a little tissue or a paper towel and just wipe up some of the, the paint if it gets too watery, but you just want to keep spreading it over. So even when I go on top, I'm gonna I like the way it's filled in those spaces that we didn't color earlier. And there you have your castle inspired by Paul Clay. I hope you had fun. And don't forget to go look at the Instagram account, Mrs. Stewart's Art Class, and you can see the real artwork by Paul Clay and you'll be able to see this one too.